Tiva shoes. You got Tiva? I got fake Tivas. You used to make fun of my Tivas. What? Tivas are so cool. You used to make fun of my sandals that look just like Tivas. <laughs> oh my god. They're cool now. Oh, now I'm cool. <laughs> you used to make fun of my <laughs> I things told, and now I I'm cool. Them, I told them that you'd say that. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, I am very excited because I am doing a huge Shein haul. I used to do a ton of Shein hauls and I haven't done one I think since like the end of last summer. I took a little bit of a break. A couple of you guys have requested me to do some Shein hauls and shopping and so that's what we have for you today. I have a lot of spring pieces that are super super cute and fun lots of really really good hits a few kind of misses that I'll share with you I will say that when I was doing the try-in portion of this haul yesterday my camera decided to stop working at the very end so there are a few pieces that I only have photos of for a try-on I think two of the bikinis luckily I fixed my camera whatever was going on with it and we are back in action thank god because I really want to get this video out for you guys in case you wanted some like fun transitional like winter to spring things where I'm living it is beautiful outside it's like 70s every once in a while we get an 80 degree day and I am living for it loving it I feel like I'm just wearing all of like the fun spring colors this year I'm mostly a neutrals girl but I'm embracing color and it's been very very fun you guys know I've been on like a green kick and in this video I've been getting into the popular chocolate brown that's going on right now so yeah it's been very fun and I have some super cute things to show you guys so let's stop talking let's get right on into the Shein spring haul so for the first piece right here it's a super fun trendy little piece it is this brown little kind of like crop top shirt I've been really into this style I hope it sticks around for a little while because I really like it, it just kind of looks a little like edgy and rugged and trendy sometimes trends go like so fast so I'm hoping that this one will kind of stick around at least for 2021 because I just think it's so cute it does have the exposed stitching there and then little drawstrings on each of the sides which you guys know I love things with little drawstrings and like hanging down strappy stuff that's going on I would just wear this with a pair of like normal jean shorts um I actually have a skirt that I thrifted in my upcoming thrift hauls from Palm Springs I have two more of those and in the next one I think that this might pair really well with a skirt from that video so maybe I'll do that for the try on in that video and I also got some bikinis that are kind of like this brown color so this might be cute to throw on over the bikini for once you're done like being in the sun you know what I mean so yeah that's the first little piece really like it I would say in this one it is a little bit tight on my chest area so I would size up if you have like a larger chest but if not I would just stick to your normal size you guys I never film in here so let me know too if you guys like the vibe of this room just for like more casual sit down videos I always am curious where you guys like me to film my videos I try to go like throughout my house in my bedroom this is like my beauty room closet office room and then in my living room which you guys see quite often next up is probably one of my favorite things from this haul and it is just this little four pack of crop tops right here um, this one comes with a brown and turquoise one and then a basic black and white these are kind of like those compression tops so I wouldn't say it's so tight as a sports bra but it definitely is very like form-fitting and just kind of like sucks me in which I really like I love to wear these in the summertime especially with with bikinis when I'm going for like a river day lake day going to the beach I'm pretty sure I've ordered this exact same pack in the past in the different colorway but I really liked the chocolate brown color so I wanted to order this one and I could never get too much of these even if I'm just like lounging around my house I love to wear these and these ones are like enough of a compression that I feel like I can get away with wearing no bra so I love that about these two when I'm just kind of like lounging around the house you know and I want to be comfy I don't feel like I'm just like flopping everywhere so yeah absolutely love these honestly in the future if they end up making another colorway pack of these I'll probably get whatever colorways they make because I feel like I can just never get enough of these type of like ribbed stretchy compression little crop tops 
absolutely definitely recommend those. This next one was influenced by my friend here on YouTube. It's just Jordan. She makes a ton of fashion content and she does do a lot of thrifting as well. So if you guys don't follow Jordan, her handle is it's just Jordan here on YouTube. She's adorable and she has an amazing sense of style. So I would definitely follow her if you guys don't. She got these super cute little pants and totally influenced me to get them too. Funky pants have been a huge trend this year and I have been really liking it. And I specifically like the like stretchy ones. I feel like they're a little bit more like figure flattering for me. You guys know I am a no booty Judy and I feel like these kind of pants kind of at least make it look like I have a little bit of a booty, which I appreciate. And these are super, super high waisted. They're also very comfortable since they are like a stretch stretchy and a soft material. If you guys don't like to wear a lot of like jeans or denim that is constricting and you want something that's just like a lot more comfortable and very trendy, absolutely love these. You guys know also I have been obsessed with this green color along with everybody else and yeah, I absolutely recommend these honestly too. Next time I go to do another Shein video, I probably will end up looking at the other colors they have of these and hopefully they're not sold out. That is one thing about Shein is that they do sell out of things pretty quick. So if you're like thinking about getting something, I definitely say just go and get it because there has been things that I've like waited on uh, even within a few days and it is gone. So hopefully they still have a few colors of these and I'll probably get back up of that outfit because love these just so cute with that same outfit i also ended up grabbing this cute little white ribbed crop top this one is a very deep v-neck and honestly it's a little bit more cropped than i expected i thought it would be a little bit longer but this one almost just fits like a bra top that isn't necessarily something that i've personally tried out yet i think it's really cute on other people but it's just a little bit like short on me so i'll have to see if i end up wearing this if so it'll definitely be layered under something else maybe like a flannel or like an over blouse just because, I don't know, for me, and comfortability wise, this is just a little bit too cropped, but the material of it is really nice, super cute. So if you like those little crop tops that are basically just like a bralette in length, um, yeah, this one was great. Even maybe if you wore a lacy bralette underneath so that the lace kind of like peeked out of it would be really cute. Or if you just wanted to wear it lounging around the house or to the pool or something like that. I really liked the quality of this one. I just wish it was slightly longer, but I did love it. Some more little like summery fun tops I ended up getting. I got this black one. These two are both much more revealing. They show a lot of cleavage. It's something for me that like it has to be the appropriate time and place. Like I would probably wear this when I go on vacation to like Las Vegas or something like that but not necessarily like where I live would I wear a top like this. Um, it'd have to be like a special occasion or like a really sexy date night situation. You know what I'm saying? Um, so this one is a black little top like this. It doesn't look like this when you try it on. You actually crisscross it like at the neck. So it's like a halter with a crisscross in the front and then it has a lot of like cleavage showing right here. You guys will be able to see it better on the try on. I really liked this black one. It fit really well and it was actually super, super comfortable. Um, so this one I definitely do recommend and I think the style is very, very cute for the appropriate situation. So I did like that one and then I got another one. This one reminded me of a little top that another girl that I love here on YouTube, her name is Tiffany. I'll link all of the channels that I mentioned down below. Um, she has a super cute top like this and I thought I was getting one that was like similar to the one that she had, but this one's a little bit different. So this one's the same style as the black one, but the material is totally different. Now you guys, this is super thin. I wouldn't say this is there for me as far as quality goes. Like it's very, very thin, no stretch to the material. So it was basically impossible for me to get this on. It does have a side zipper on the side right here. So that helped, but the zipper doesn't actually go like to where you can take it all the way off. It stops at the bottom. And since it has no stretch, I literally couldn't get my arms in and out. Like to get this top on probably took me a good like four minutes to get it on. And when I was trying to take it off, I honestly had to contemplate cutting the shirt to get it off because you can't get in and out of it. This one is a skip for me and I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. I think it was cute once it was on, but it's just like too thin. It wasn't constructed correctly. If you're gonna get a top like this, definitely go with the black one. The material on this one just like makes sense since it's stretchy and you can like 
get in and out of it. This was silly. Even though I thought it was pretty cute. The gingham. I loved the gingham. <laughs> I did end up grabbing a pair of jeans. One of my very favorite pairs of jeans that I have right now are from Shein, which is so surprising to me because in a lot of my past Shein videos or like Shein hauls, I didn't order jeans or denim. And when I ordered that one, I was so shocked about how much I liked it. They were kind of like that baggier look on the leg that's really popular right now, but very high waisted. So I wanted to pick up some more denim so that I could see if I ended up just like really liking their denim or not. And I I got this pair right here. What I love about this pair is they are extremely high waisted, like super high. I would say they're like a 13 to 14 inch rise, like way above my belly button. I didn't realize that they were going to be so acid wash looking. I don't know if that was my mistake and I just couldn't tell if like on the website it's like a little deceiving, but I'll still wear them. I think they're cute. I liked the placement of the holes. There's one like up here at the top which was kind of different for me, and then one in the knee. The only thing about these for me personally that I didn't like is they are extremely long. These are not petite short girl friendly at all. Like this is definitely like a, ta a tall girl friendly jean. This is how much I had to cuff them at the bottom and they're still really long. And I don't, I don't know, is like cuffed jeans a thing? I'm not really sure. Um, I'll still rock them, but I just wish I could get them hemmed, I guess. But if you're a super tall girl and you are like five, eight and above, these jeans are perfect. They are that like wider leg baggy look that's in right now. Um, so yeah, I definitely will be ordering more Shein jeans in the future because I have really liked them overall. So I feel like halter tops have made a huge comeback in 2020 and 2021. I've been seeing them a lot, especially this spring. So I got this little two pack. It's a really basic, there's nothing like that profound about these little tops. They're very, very simple. But you guys, some of my favorite clothes are my like basics. I feel like it's just like a more realistic. Sometimes I like to wear like really funky trendy pieces, but like a lot of times my basics get a lot of wear. So this one did come in a two pack and they are a cropped length, so a little bit shorter and they do just have the little halter. I personally like to wear these with a bathing suit top because the bathing suit tops tie around my neck like that. So I just put on my little triangle bathing suit top and I would wear that all day comfortably. Two piece, black and white crop top halters, such a staple for summertime. Okay, I saw this super cute little, I don't know if this is like a crop top or I think it's more of like a sweater vest, but I feel like you could just wear it as a shirt. That's how I did for the try on. It's just this little blue v-neck knit tank top. I do really, I think it would look great with a white button up underneath too, but I just did wear it as a tank top. I like anything with these little like silly novelty prints on them, especially when they're like a more summery, springy print. So I thought the cherries was just like so cute and fun. I liked that it was baby blue. This one is kind of like a thinner material, nothing like too groundbreaking on this little guy, but it's very comfortable. And yeah, I just thought this was a fun piece. I have seen these little purses all over and I saw that Shein has some, so I got one. This one is just brown and it's like a little fuzzy, funky little like tote crossbody situation. There was one that I really wanted on Amazon, but it went out of stock so fast and it was like black and white with little flowers all over it. And I just thought that that one was really cute. I've also seen a lot of girls rocking these that have them in like zebra print and cheetah print and different animal prints. But I just got this little basic one. This one is definitely very like cheap feeling, which is okay since it's more of a trendy piece and it's not something that I feel like is going to be in my wardrobe forever or it might be a trend that'll go away quicker. Um, so so I was okay with it being kind of like a little bit more flimsy feeling. The inside's kind of like that slick windbreaker material, which is like something that I don't really love. I think that if it was a little bit of a different material on the inside, I would feel better about it. But this could just be something that you just want to like throw on when you're going somewhere very casual. This will fit a pretty decent amount of size of stuff for me and I love crossbodies. So I got this cute little zip up right here. It is a black cropped it's kind of like a sporty or more like athletic looking little zip up. I don't have anything like that. It's kind of thin, I would say. It's not like a super substantially thick or like high quality fitting zip up hoodie. Um, but I do think it's a nice little basic, like something very simple. And I liked that it had the cropped length and it does have the little collar that like folds over on your neckline, which I thought was pretty cute. It's just kind of like a little sporty 
crop top and I thought that that was nice. It doesn't have any front pockets which is kind of a bummer but I did think that it was pretty cute for what it was. I wanted to try a two-piece set. They have a lot of really cute activewear on Shein and I actually don't think I've ordered maybe like one or two leggings in the past but I just saw this set and I thought that it was really cute. Hold on, sorry, everything's inside out from when I tried it on. So here are the shorts right here. They are just a gray short. They have that like really thick high-waisted compression band right at the, oh, <laughs> at the top there. It goes well above my belly button. It does have like a little bit of like a flattering pattern around the bum and just like all the stitching is kind of a different colored stitching. So it looks, you know, kind of trendy and fun. And then the top is just a little like t-shirt crop top. I was really hoping that the top would be tight enough that I could possibly not wear a bra under this. So it would almost like work as a sports bra. <laughs> Tegan. Tegan's coming in and out with her toys. Sorry, you guys. Um, I was hoping that it would work as a t-shirt sports bra is that even a thing or am i just like making that up i may be just making that up but i just wish that the top was a little tighter especially right here at the bottom like area was a little bit loose on me where like the rib cage is it was just like a little bit loose and i wish that it was more of a compact fit but i still think that the set looks really cute together and also separate like i definitely would wear this with like black leggings and i definitely would wear this with other workout tops as well so that's the one thing I love about sets is that you can wear them together, but they also always work separately and are really adorable. I also got one of these little longer um, crop top bralette sports bra things that I love so much. This one was really cute because it was just like a nice subtle green color spaghetti strap does have padding in it that's the only thing about this one that i don't love is i feel like you could kind of see this little blip in the front when i tried on so i would probably end up removing the padding let me see am i able yeah i can easily remove the inside padding and i probably will in the future but for for the try on i just showed you how it came but i always love these i have a ton of them i think they're really cute and easy for doing any activities working out going on a walk just anything active and sometimes i even just wear them like this with a pair of shorts so i wear them for just a multitude of things and i always think that they're really cute and Shein has a ton of these too in all sorts of like really beautiful colors like this is just such a pretty muted color i did end up picking up three bathing suit bikinis this time this first one was probably my most like out there one i have been loving the tops like this that i've been seeing i saw some on amazon i've seen a few on shein i've seen some from like pretty little thing and boohoo i think and they're just like this undone kind of like little strings coming off everywhere and they have this like fun lace-up detail in the front but i haven't seen one that was a bikini so i was really excited to try this there's things about this bathing suit that i love and things that i hate so i'm just gonna let you guys know this material is I'm not sure if this is bikini material. It is thin, like very thin. And since it's that like light cream butter yellow, I feel like it might be see-through if it gets wet, which for a bikini, I'm like, uh, someone didn't think that through, did they? I mean, it does have padding in the front, but the padding is um, like small, small. So I feel like I don't know the padding doesn't like slips around and it doesn't stay where it should stay if it did get wet and become see-through if you guys know what i mean i'm trying to be careful because i don't want to get demonetized if you say certain things especially when it comes to like bikinis and like that kind of thing you can get demonetized if you say the wrong thing so um yeah i thought it was super trendy and cute but i don't know if it's realistic for swimming maybe for photos like if you're just putting on a swimsuit for photos I don't know and i feel like it probably would suit someone that has a little bit of a smaller chest than me like i was just kind of busting out of it so it's cute but i just don't know if it's for my body type and then the bottoms are the same way like i don't know if you're gonna just be able to see straight through these bottoms they're very high waisted which i love okay in situations like this i'm always confused like is this the front and this the back which is what i would assume because i'd like a little bit more coverage in the back but if this is the back this is a very small front area you know what i'm saying like 
that's pretty little. Maybe this is the back and then it's more of a cheeky, cheeky bottom. But then I tried it on that way as well and then it kind of like bunched up too much material. I'm not really sure about this one, you guys. I think it's cute and trendy, but it definitely has some downfalls for me personally. And I like to keep it real with you guys. I'm not going to tell you guys that everything is cute. Like there are some things. This is a cheap website, so it's like Forever 21. Some things are really, really good for the price and some things you're just like, yeah, that wasn't manufactured well. And I just, I have to keep it real with you guys. I think that that last swimsuit is where my camera decided to stop working. So these last two swimsuits, I don't have any video footage of. I'm so sorry, uh, but I will show you the pictures that I took in them because I feel like it'll still give you like the look of what I was trying to show you guys. Um, so this first one is a brown kind of like acid wash tie dye. And this one's so cute because it's a tankini. And I love that. I like a little bit more coverage and so tankinis work really great. It still has this little slit in the front here so it's got like a little bit of front action going on and I thought that that was pretty cute and it has a lettuce hem which I absolutely love. This one was definitely the most comfortable out of the three bikinis that I got um, and probably my favorite one just because overall I thought it was the most flattering. Love the brown, so in. And then the bottoms are so cute too. I don't have any swimsuits that look like this. They are the same tie dye and then they just have that cute little like ruffly lettuce hem but it's like all over the entire swimsuit on every edge. These ones weren't extremely high waisted naturally but I could kind of like fit them up on my hips to make it give the illusion and I noticed that it kind of dips down low in the front which I thought was pretty cute. So yeah this is definitely my favorite of the three. Let me know if you guys want me to order more Shein bikinis in the future if you want me to do like a purely only bikini haul with Shein or what you guys want or even if you care about the bikinis. Some people really really want to see the cheaper more affordable bikinis because these are sometimes like nine ten dollars and some of them are really good some of them are fails so like I said I got a lot of chocolate brown you guys and here is the top right here. It has like that little crisscross in the front on the one side and it's a stretchy kind of like ribbed material has this thicker band at the bottom and then here are the bottoms i really like these bottoms like i said i like a high waist but also i don't want something that's like overly cheeky and i feel like this is the perfect amount of like cheekiness for me the top actually since it wasn't overly like low i felt secure like i feel like this swimsuit is one that i could like really do some underwater swimming activities and i don't feel like i'm just gonna like fall out of it you know no, it's like feels everything feels like I'm secure I'm in there so this one was great as well I wonder if it comes in other colors I don't remember I got three pairs of shoes and a pair of slippers I personally really love Shein shoes because they make trendy shoes and they make dupes of really popular shoes but obviously for like a more affordable price I like that because sometimes I want to try out the trend of the shoe to see if it's something I will realistically wear often and then if I do I will go back and buy the more expensive version that's going to last longer. If I don't end up wearing it then I save myself a lot of money because I just bought the version that costs like 15 to 20 dollars so I personally love Shein shoes and I have a lot of them. First up, I got these super cute little furry slippers right here. These kind of remind me of the Ugg slippers. They're not the same, but they just give me the same like kind of vibe. I love that they're that like light beigey taupe cool toned brown and I've already been wearing these around the house for like a day or two and I have been enjoying them. The fur on these ones are super soft and really, really nice. So these ones are a definite hit. I would say that they fit pretty true to size. I'm a size 6 US, 36 European. These are a 36 and they fit perfect. So yeah, I absolutely love those ones. Next up, I picked up these super cute little black slides. These would be really cute with like dresses or just like a more dressy outfit. A nice blouse, dinner night, date night kind of shoe. These ones are a 36 as well. I just love that really beautiful little bra braiding on the top of the foot. It would look really cute with like a nice pedicure, you know what I mean? So I definitely needed something like this that's a little bit more of like an elevated style um, versus some of the casual things that I'm going to show you right now. My dad would make so much fun of me. My dad's actually here at my house right now helping Everett with a project. But I made fun of him for so many years for wearing Tevas. Like, I, he loves Tevas. They're one of his favorite little, like, sandal shoe. The thing is, though, my dad wears socks with Teva sandals. And it's 
so ridiculous looking. He also used to wear socks with Birkenstocks, which is also so ridiculous. Um, so when I look at Tevas, they remind me of him, but I feel like Tevas or like this style of sandal has really come in. Personally, I'm pretty sure Everett hates it. Like I tried to get a cute pair of these with like a chunky platform at the bottom when I was in Palm Springs. They were really cute. They were like espadrille bottom platforms and then this like sandal Teva E top and they were like a nude color. Everett hated them. I thought they were so cute. I didn't need them though, so I put them back. Um, but yeah, I ended up getting these little black ones right here. I think they're very, very cute, but they're also really realistic if it's like somewhere that you're gonna be doing a ton of walking. Maybe you're like at a street fair or you know, you're cruising around, you're gonna be a lot, a lot of walking. Um, I think that they're cute and comfortable. These ones look a little small for me though. Let me try them on because I ordered them in a 36 and these ones you might wanna size up. Yeah, I would say size up in these ones. They're just slightly small on me. <laughs> Just holding my foot up, no big deal. They're a little tall, like like my toes are about to like fall out of these ones, so definitely size up for these. Dad! What? I got Teva shoes. You got Tevas? I got fake Tevas. You used to make fun of my Tevas. What? Tevas are so cool! You used to make fun of my sandals that look just like Tevas. <laughs> oh my god. They're cool now. Oh, now I'm cool. <laughs> you used to make fun of my... I told, now I, told cool. them, I told them that you'd say that. I was like, oh my god, I got some Tevas and my dad used to wear these with socks and I used to make fun of him. Now I think they're cute. He's going to give me so much of a hard time. Yeah, who are you talking to? My friends on the internet. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm filming. Oh. Yeah. You hey, everybody, my dad says hi. <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys he would say that. I like them. I think they're cute. Ever hates them. My dad is the original trendsetter. Okay, next up, I got another pair of like Doc Martin dupes. You know, you guys see what I'm saying? Like the Tevas, I paid, these were not Teva price. Tevas are expensive, even used. I've looked on Poshmark, they're not cheap. And then these are totally like a Doc Martin style shoe. They do not have the rubber sole. I have another pair of like a Doc Martin dupe kind of like sandal and they do have the rubber sole. These ones have a foam sole, but they still look like chunky and funky and like kind of like that same style. And then they have the straps on top. They kind of look a little bit like a Birkenstock as well. They're like a Birkenstock meets Doc Martin with the exposed stitching, you know? Um, and actually something I really like about these sandals is see they have this clasp right here on the side. It's interesting because the cl it's not actually a, you know, it doesn't take a long time to get in and out of them. You'd actually just hook this on there and it's really fast to get in and out of them. It's the same as the ones that I had from last year and I loved those shoes. So I decided to get another pair of these ones. I think that they're so cute. Honestly, if I wear these a lot, I might just end up getting the Doc Martens, but those are expensive, you guys. And this gives me the same style. These ones I would say fit pretty true to size, so stay with your same size. They're cute. <laughs> I look ridiculous, but I like these. All right, you guys, that is everything for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun. I've actually like lightweight Miss Sheehan hauls. I, I don't know. There's like so many trendy things on there that I love trying out at like a cheaper price. So I have been like excited to do the Shein haul. And since ordering this stuff, I've been on there like every day looking at the new inn. And I have a whole list of things that I want to try. I want new things. I'm, I'm, I'm already ready for the next haul. So I hope you guys end up liking this video so that I can do more Shein hauls. I will include my discount code here and in the link down below so that you guys can get some money off if you end up ordering anything. This is not sponsored by Shein and I don't actually make any commission from Shein, but using my code just lets me know that you do end up liking the things that I show you guys and yeah, save you a little bit of money. All right guys, I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you next time in my next video which is thrifting in Palm Springs. I have two more videos and there's a lot of stuff in them. So I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Peace out. Love you guys.